Hey there, gorgeous gays. Hunters rise up. It is Monster Hunter Rise. I'm just gonna let this title screen sit here for a bit because once again we get near fucking levels of music here. If this song wasn't inspired by Nia, it was inspired by the same thing that inspired Nia. <laughs> by the way, that's a very, 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 very good thing. Nia and Nier Automata are like the two best soundtracks in video games. I'm personally on the opinion that I like Automata's more, but if you like the original Nier's over Automata's, that's totally fine. As long as you agree that those two soundtracks are like the best in video games then we're good, but this song is, it's so near, it's so ridiculously near, I fucking love it. Uh, it's in line with lots of vocal tracks from the series in general. I guess, yeah, I like, I'm in a position where I haven't played the older game, so I'm not, like, vocal tracks in a Monster Hunter game is new to me. <laughs> or at least this style of vocals that aren't just, like, Latin chanting. But this title screen, this title screen, like, the actual logo and menu don't do much, but the panning of the different parts of Kimura Village, um, with, I think this is Hinoa singing and this song. This is a really, really high tier one. Well, it had less of that stuff, only a bit in the ending thing. Yeah. So I'm not used to vocal tracks in a Monster Hunter. So when I saw this, I was just like, holy shit, whoa. But even just the style of the vocals feels very, very near in the way that it's done. Anyway, you know, you know, I'm yet to actually play Rise, um, only what we've done in the demo, but immediately this game is better than World. Do you know why this game is immediately better than World? Because if I go to continue, I've already made my character. <laughs> The very first thing that happens when you load up this game is you get the ability to create your character. Because I, because I got this, this isn't the day of release for me, this is the beginning of the second day. I couldn't stream it last night because it was just too late after I finished work that no one would be able to stream it, like watch it. And if I wanted to do a long stream, I'd be up until fucking midnight, which, <laughs> which I don't want to stream for that long anyway. So what I did last night was, I was just like, okay, I'll load up, I'll skip all the cutscenes and I'll make my character get the values and like the options that I've chose so I can load it in. Fucking the first thing that happens is you get to make your character, save the data, and then leave. <laughs> so I've already made my character, so we don't have to spend the next 20 minutes of me just reciting things like that. Immediately better than worlds. Um, I feel, I, one thing I will say, and I think it's not the face, op the face options are actually more detailed in this than worlds. Um, like, you can choose cheek shape and chin length and all of those details where in World you had presets for basically everything. Um, so it was more difficult to replicate it than I was expecting it to be. Because the skin detail isn't as strong um, and some of the th slight face things are slightly off, I do think my character's in a little bit of an uncanny valley right now compared to my world iteration of the same character, which is just my part, by the way. Um, I, I have people asking that a lot in my world video. I'm just like, oh yeah, I did kind of just say that without doing that. Um, sup, Densho? Not even into Monster Hunter, but I know this is big, so I'm here for it. Fuck yeah. You missed the near music at the, at the title screen. It's straight up fucking near. You'd fucking love it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, better load times. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> it's on cartridge. It should load better. You made your character from Teresa from Claymore. So, one thing that you can do, like, if you've made a character that's based on someone, there's an option to just look at all settings, and it's literally just a screen you can screenshot to just be like, yo, I made my character. Here is one screen that shows every single detail if anyone wants to replicate it. It's kind of amazing. They're leaning even harder into the make your character whoever the fuck you want it to be and share it with other people and make it easy to do that in this game than before, um, than even World, and that's amazing. Um... But because the skin quality is not as good, like there's no pause and everything, I think my character's in a little bit of an uncanny valley right now, compared to World. But after after like an hour in this, I'll be used to it, and I'll just sit and I'll just and I'll just be like, oh yeah, that's Ashley, <laughs> and that'll just happen. <laughs> that will just happen naturally. Also, I've made my cat Tiger. The fur patterns for the cats are way worse, um, and I've also made my dog. 
this dog is based on the last dog that I had, and also the only dog that I've personally had, Jerry. He was a very adorable um, dog, ridiculous amounts of personality, just like my current cat, Tiger. Um, but it's based on him, and um, he was a Shih Tzu, so he's got the floppy ears, he's got a nice curly tail. Obviously, the body shape's completely different, but, you know, I can't make I can't make my Palomita Shih Tzu, otherwise riding it would crush the poor thing. <laughs> um, but one thing that I can actually do, which uh, really, really brings it home as being like my dog Jerry, is my dog lost, it, like Jerry lost an eye about halfway through his life. And you can have a scar over one eye for the dog in this. <laughs> so it's like, like I, I look at that and I'm just like, yup, yeah, that's, <laughs> it, it doesn't look the same as Jerry, but it's like, I can look at that and just be like, the same way with Tiger where it's like, Tiger doesn't look like Tiger because it's a slightly anthropomorphized cat. But I'm just like, you know, that looks like my old dog, man. It's, <laughs> a little bit emotional. I mean, he, he he passed away about six years ago at this point. But, um, you know, just seeing him there is still just like, aww, that's my dog. <laughs> so, yeah, I've already made everything, and I haven't even seen any cutscenes. So it's not even just like, oh, I had to rapidly skip things to get to the character creator scene. No, I can just fucking, oh, this game made this process so easy for me. I fucking love this. Oh, dramatic evil stuff. That's pictures of different monsters. Like the artwork. But a little messed up. You yeah, see, like the face is a little uncanny valley, but I can still look and go like, oh yeah, I recognize. I recognize. The twins are sneaking in on me sleeping. Dear. What's going on here? Looks like we've been caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. Okay, hearing characters actually I refer really to each other's names in Monster, Monster, Monster Hunter is already throwing me off. <laughs> That's why we expect great things of you. You're always razor sharp. <laughs> well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. Hmm. What? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on. This is Kimura. We're all practically family here. <laughs> Besides, Elder Fugin is looking for you. So go get ready. Can't keep him waiting. So is the idea story-wise here that I've already lived in Kamura Village? Like, it's not that I'm a new recruit to the village. I'm just... I've I've already lived here. And, I've just, and I'm just, like, now becoming a hunter. Because the whole story of World was you were, like in the in the fifth fleet of going to the new world and you're like brand new to the new world they seems very it's ho ho it's ho ho shall we go it's ho ho it's ho ho up in the sky well is this a like preview of what it is going to be the final boss of lower hiring if i had to guess that looks like the thing that we saw for five like for four seconds in um the last event. That looks like it, but it was but it could be something different. Thank you, come again. <laughs> Everything that we've seen of Kamura Village in previews looks good. I'm very excited to explore just the village. Because one thing that I've always loved about the world building of Monster Hunter, which is still the case in the old games, but I think Astera did it fantastically. Um, and it's something that's made me excited about this with details we've been trying so far, is the fact that it's very much a very, very large group of people, all with different skills and trades oh. and everything like that, all working together towards a common goal and all helping each other. Like, the hunter can't do their job without the backing of an entire village, and everyone works together towards those goals. It's very, very cooperative in that. Fugen, and we did like you asked. what we've seen so far oh. of this, it looks like that as well, Minoto. so I'm hoping it leans into that. Minoto. Thank you. The fact that the, these can even join you in the rampage stuff is, like, a really good... Hi, Mikey! I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. <laughs> Immediately, story is oh fuck, rampage is happening. So it's finally beginning. Hmm. Fuck, rampage is starting it's been quickly. Fifty years since the last calamity. I guess the whole story is but preparing I remember for it. Like it was yesterday. Got all these awkward pauses for lip syncing. 
It's fine, don't worry a about it. Pack of monsters in a giant stampede. This is why you play in Monster Hunter language. They attack so you the never have an issue. In a frenzied rage. Got these. Nobody knows why. The this art styles for these things for monsters is so fucking out good. Our village game. Last time. In this game in April when we have money? Fuck yeah. I better spoil everything time. for you. We paid a visit to the strong. If people don't want to watch me do it as we quick as I'm to going to, because of spoilers, There's that's totally fair. To worry I can about, Elder Fugen. People will probably still beat it before all me. All of us. Because <laughs> I'm not doing it next Kimura, weekend, so we've all been I'm gonna training fall behind for this for a moment for our entire lives. Hmm. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. <laughs> Makes me wonder how early hmm. into the story our first rampage is going to be. <laughs> Because they're really singing up like we're preparing for it literally right now. Now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> you right there, old Titus? <laughs> Fugit's fucking love. I'm. <clears throat> now, Ashfa, Rampage and all aside, I've got news for you. It's also weird to hear these characters actually refer to me by my name and not just calling me. Hunter or part or partner or Sapphire Star. We're actually using names in a Monster Hunter game. This is fucked up. Great this is job. fucked up. <laughs> Got a message from the guild this morning saying says that you are now a certified hunter. <laughs> you're really living now, squirt. Well, I guess I shouldn't call you that now that you're certified. But don't think it'll stop me. <laughs> I do, so I do think I've just been a resident of this village. I don't know whether it's my entire life or whether I've like come here to train to be a hunter and now I'm one or anything like that. But I've clearly not just arrived here. There's clearly I've lived here for a while training to be a hunter and now I'm a certified one. That's cool. Different story beginning to the other one. If we're getting if we're getting the point where we're already like bonded with all these people, then it might bring that idea together really well. It'll be your first Monster Hunter game. It's looking like it's going to be a good one to be your first one. Like this game looks like it is balanced for fun. <laughs> I've informed the village of the coming rampage, like you asked. Ah, yes, thank you. By the way, Ashfa, I have heard the good news. You're finally an official hunter. Congratulations. All you need to do now is register with the guild so you can start accepting those quests. Mm -hmm. To do that, you need to speak with Master Hojo in the gathering hub. Oh, no, Hojo. Oh, I don't like that first. name. <laughs> Put that away. First, we go shopping. You'll be needing the help of other villagers if you want to succeed out in the field. Immediately, we're getting a line that is just like, it is the work of the village that makes hunters succeed. Fuck yeah. Follow me. Alright, let's start by talking to the shady dude over here. Marketeer of Mystery, Kagero the Merchant. Alright, run around. Awesome. <laughs> You're not the only one who the name Hojo has been ruined by FF7. Densha, never mind, you're getting your new music right now. <laughs> Our village music is new music too. Like this is near one where it's just like, if you hang around certain parts of the village, you can literally hear devil are singing. Oh, I'm going to enjoy hanging around Kamura so much, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking enjoy it. Yo, look at Fugan's Palamut. Look at Fugan's fucking Palamut. Very powerful god dog. And there's Jerry. Aww, hello. And there's Tiger. Welcome back, Tiger. Welcome to my shop. Hello. <laughs> Pre-ordered Deluxe Edition last year and it's delayed to COVID, so at least I downloaded by the eShop earlier today. I could very much understand this. Also, hello, Magby. Sup. Yeah, no, I can understand where it's just like... I'm buying it early, fuck it. I even know I've got another one that I've paid for. Fuck it, I'm buying it now. <laughs> I totally get that. But also just means you'll have it digital and you won't have to worry about putting it in the cart later on. Which, I, which I'm already tempted to buy it digital for that reason, even though I own the physical copy. <laughs> Greetings, Master Ashfar. I would like to inform- I've just informed that you've been accepted into the guild. Felicitations. Alright, I don't- I don't know if that's a real word or whether it's just because you're a weird person that you're saying it like that, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with the weird person. If anyone wants to confirm to me that felicitations is a real word, feel free, because I've got no fucking idea. Man, my eyes are like fucked up. The the brightness of my light shining on my eyes right now is like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is what I get for recording when I'm tired of shit. You want restorative cures and other such items to aid you on your hunts. I often diversify my stock and provide special offers to hunters too. 
I think you'll find them most agreeable. Sure. Kigura sometimes offers items half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale, and then when it's on, I swoop in like a Rathian on the trail. You saying this directly to him? Oh. <laughs> I've often sensed Lady Hinoa's sharp gaze upon my back. <laughs> now I know why. <laughs> Kigira, about those items I asked you to set aside for me. Of course, I'll have them packaged and sent to you at your convenience. Yes. Then that's a wrap. Let's see, where should we go uh -huh. next? Steadfast as Steel meets Hamon the Blacksmith. Oh, fuck yeah, JoJo reference. It'd be nice to pay him a visit. All right. Yep, move camera around. Simple enough. That's, that's easy enough. <laughs> I've gone to Google. Felicitations now. Words expressing praise for an achievement or good wishes on a special occasion. Did not even realize that was a real word. Well, there you go. You're learning something from Monster Hunter all the time. You need a, a bigger SD card? I actually... What would the size of this game be? Because I'm basically at a point where any new game that I want to download, unless it's a small indie title, I need to delete a game to fit on there, and I've only got like 15 games on my Switch, if that. And like a lot of those are those small indie games. And I imagine this game is uh, sizable. <laughs> Enough to fit on a cartridge, I didn't need to download extra. You can just play it off the cart, but I'm pretty sure the cart's got the 32 gig, and like you can get standard micro SD cards at a <laughs> Like I think I've got a 32 gig in mine. I don't think I have anything bigger. I should probably get something bigger. Unless the Switch can't handle that. That might have been why I got the 32. Memory bad, I'm not sure. No, no, anyway. Hi, JoJo reference. You know what? What is it? You can um, you can see I'm busy here, preparing for the rampage. Now, now, Master Hamon, this time I'm going to tell you the good news. Ashfire has been accepted into the Hunter's Guild. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. Isn't that great? Oh, so I'm like the first guild certified hunter. Thanks to Google, 6.6 .6 gig. That's actually way smaller than I was expecting. I'm pretty sure Okami was nearly 10. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. When are we getting Okami crossover? I feel like with this game's art style, we definitely need an Okami crossover to make our Palamute look like Amaterasu. <laughs> game must be stupid optimized, ridiculously so. And my face game is still glitching out. Hmm. Damn. It's weird how I didn't look into it last stream when it was glitching out, and then I didn't do anything to try and fix it, and it's still happening. Bizarre. <laughs> I see. Well then, Ashfire, allow me to congratulate yeah. you. The equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter, in part, and can make a break a hunt. Hell yeah. I Again, all of this, all of the detail of the village backs up the hunter, and this would not be possible without the work of an entire team of people, is part of the world building I loved about world. So I'm happy that we're immediately getting that focus in this game. It's what represents our village too. A hunter who can't wield Tatara steel isn't, fly, isn't fit to fly the banner of Kimura. Yeah. You'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting and refining gear, well, we can talk about that later. But since we're here, that reminds uh -huh. me. You can hire buddies up at the Buddy Plaza ahead. Yeah, we need multiple of those because you can do that in this game. So, gonna have to like work out how to how this shit all actually works because I've been basically ignoring it in GU. <laughs> Master Hamon's grandson, Iori, manages this place. Why don't you get talk to him later? <laughs> Capering around with felines and canines makes me wonder where I went wrong. <laughs> really? I think bodily handling is quite a noble profession, personally. <laughs> How could you not want a job that's just playing around with cats and dogs all day? Come on. Master Hamon, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. It is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you Last later. Okay. Just one more stop and we're done. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Sweeter than sweet Dango. It's got to be your Mogi the Chef's tea shop. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. We've got to get out. We've got to get our Dango and tea on. <laughs> Wild Bug Gage is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Performing wire dashes and silk line attacks will deplete it. Yo, can I, can I do that now? Yo, I can wire bug. We can wire bug and wire dash. Hardcore mochi pounding. I actually, I fucking love mochi. I love mochi so much. How different is Dango to mochi? Or is Dango just a different way of serving and preparing, like, serving up mochi? Because I fucking love mochi so much. But I've never had specifically Dango. And now that it's here, I feel like I probably should. <laughs> It's like sea salt ice cream in Kingdom Hearts. It's like if it's here, I need it. Yo, white ashes, let's go! What's up? <laughs> Just walk through everyone. I'll talk to all the villagers once we're not getting introductions. Look at him go! Look at him pound that, hell yeah. What's up? Oh, ash fire! Hey, I heard the good news. You're a certified hunter now. Recognized by the guilds and everything. Congrats. Before you head out and hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. Is it bunny dango because that's a type, or is it bunny because you decorate it like a bunny? 
You never taste anything yummer in your life, and they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. I've been told that the way the food system works in this game is different. I'm yet to actually see why, but I've heard that it is different to world and stuff like that, so I'm curious. Because it's also different in GU, so I'm wondering if this is going to match GU, whether it's going to be a different thing entirely. Yumogi's um, Bunny Dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I can't stop eating them on the yep. job. Just thinking about them gets me all excited. <laughs> she likes her food. That stretching on the mochi doesn't look that great close up, though I suppose I shouldn't be hard on Switch, switch graphics. Hey, if you can see polygons, like, I'm fine seeing polygons. The thing is, is that even though the gra like the f fidelity of stuff isn't that high, comparing the aesthetic and art style of this game to World, I think it looks as good as World, because World's art style um, isn't super defined other than just, like, kind of realistic where this is more like anime, like Japanese Sakura Village um, style um, aesthetics. So I, I like, I do like the art style of this game. To me where I think it looks as good as well, because like I enjoy looking at it as much as well. You might get the usual, please and thank you. Of course you know what, one super duper mega dango water coming right up. I had a great time in our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying yeah. me. I had the things I ordered Master Hamon and Kagero delivered to your item box. Surprise, it's just a little something for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Aww, that's nice. <laughs> Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Huh? What about the bunny dango? Sorry, those are all mine, I'd share, but a girl's gotta eat. Alright, she's just having all the dango for herself. You should equip a weapon already. I wanna see what you look like in full hunter get up. Great idea, how about you try on that. No. No. Now get this thing off my back. Get this thing off my fucking back. <laughs> you must feel a ton braver now, right? Ride that high over to the gathering hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. When you talk to Master Hojo and get registered, you can start going on a real life live hunt as a real life hunter of Kimura. Exciting! I have to wait here for my order, so off you go. I'll be in my usual spot. Come see me when Come you're on. done. <laughs> Yumogi just doing a little dance. Get this long sword off my fucking back. So it's probably a weapon, that must obviously mean you want to use it. No, the game won't let me use Oh, fuck, I've got to finish this tutorial before I get this long sword off my back. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. People just got their sticks of dango. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll explore this village like once we're not doing the tutorial stuff. Or I might do a quest or two before I do that. Yo, gathering hub. Yo, baby Tetsukabra! Uh, they literally give you long swords default weapon. SNS has been backstabbed. It's bullshit. It's bullshit is what it is. Ah, they're cooking up some dango in here as well. Over the hot coals, it seems. Haha, <laughs> 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 you're here! <laughs> Hello. This Hello. Master Hojo. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone love when we talk to them in this game? Hello there, Ashfara. You, you sure took forever to get here. I thought I was gonna croak. Get it? Because it's a frog pun. <laughs> You're probably well aware that I, Hojo, am the guild master of this exceptional gathering hub. Are you taunting your dead Tsukabra with Dango on a stick? Hojo, you're mean. <laughs> What's that, your guild registration? Oh yes, well I was getting to it and before you interrupted me. Had you let me finish, I would have told you that we no longer do things that way. <laughs> Get with it, with it, young hunter. Jo <laughs> No tests or papers or, 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 or papers, Sam. Just my again, you're on your way. That was easy. With that, you're now officially a hunter. Not just any hunter. A hunter of Kamura Village. Accept the quest from my dearest Minoto and go hunt some monsters. <laughs> about that. As much as I'd, I'd like to. I have to re um, get this report um, about the rampage ready for the guild. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to her Noah first so she can explain quests mm -hmm. to you? Haha, -ha, you're here! I just overheard the gnarly news. Awesome. Before you run off to see Hanoa, pop over here for a sec. I gotta check you out in your new threads. <laughs> Fucking baby Tetsukabra. Oh, it's even got a tadpole tail. <laughs> it's even got a big old tadpole tail. Aww. I wanna see more baby monster. Stop. Just give the poor Tetsu the dango, you monster. Why? Just give the Tetsu the da- Just give him the dango! Why are you so mean, Hojo? I hope when this Tetsu Carver grows up, he kills you. You're so mean! 
Stop it! You didn't want the rampage, so <laughs> Minoto's a tadpole bit busy. Oh my god. You're gonna have a character who does frog puns in this game. Who was taunting his poor tadpole. He's just straight up actually Monster Hunter stories, though. Like, look out, like, the Tetsu's getting, like, staring at it and just getting ready and then tries to. You're a monster. You are so. This Hojo is. Fuck it, you know what? This Hojo is more evil than the Hojo from the other game. Not even joking. Absolutely evil. Frying up the Dango over the little uh, wood fires there. Hell yeah. Haha, hey -ha, you're here! Hanging in there? Looking good, eh? Scrats, I'm becoming a hunter. All that hard work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Oh, before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. Why is your armor like... Part Zenoga? <laughs> why aren't you wearing... Why, why are you allowed to have like... Part Zenoga armor? Like, you're not wearing Zenoga armor. It's just partially Zenoga. Can I mix and match different arms from different monsters myself? No? It's bullshit. Right. Action bar lets you pull up all sorts of actions without opening any menus. Uh -huh. Pretty gnarly if you ask me. Select the camera from the action bar and snap a picture uh -huh. of me. Would you take my picture? Let me see it. Alright, you just want me to take a photo. Uh, your action things. Sand photos will be saved in the album and on the home menu. Nice, okay. Uh, pictures um, automatically classified into the album. Pressing L while aiming will switch uh, between character view and Kahoot view. <laughs> nice. Uh, picture will be taken from your view. Recommend for making subjects bigger or framing a more creative uh, composition. You can have Kahoot! Pose sets and gestures can be selected. Yo! During multiplayer, the Kahoot will be visible to other players. Giving you a general idea of the camera's position. Yo! So everyone can actually line up in photos by just seeing where the Kahoot is. That's amazing. Fucking details. Fucking details. Alright, where's our camera? Greeting? Okay! <laughs> Alright, wait, what's that? Oh, cool, hook the hoot over. Alright, move around village, chat, okay. Alright, so this so this is our character view, so it's as we walk around. Okay. Alright, where's Kahoot? Okay, Kahoot view. I don't think I have a Kahoot yet. <laughs> There's so much about this game that's great. I haven't even hunted a monster yet, and I'm already liking it. Uh, Jerry, I need you to not be in the photo. I'm trying to get a photo of Master at Sushi. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna be Breath of the Wild all over again. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Haha, -ha, you're here! That's one handsome devil Joe. <laughs> now that you've got acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. <laughs> but if you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen up. Just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Yuri and all his furry friends Good hang thing. out. You can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skill sets. It's great to be placed to warm up for a big mm. hunt. I'll do that off camera. <laughs> I'll get holding you up. Hino is still waiting for you, isn't she? Alright. Jesus, all the hunter info, so much there. And that's just, yeah, menu, how, how you get through menus. There we go, we're all good. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, we're just, we're just gazing out over there. So you're wearing Zenogarama. Sup. <laughs> Sup. Uh, hey, Bryce time. Sup, Turbine Go, hello, I'm fucking excited. It's you, the new hunter, Ashfire, right? I'm a Yame. I'm a high rank hunter for what it's worth. I was born in Kim I'm here in Kimura too. Confirmation your character's born in Kimura, because it's two. <laughs> uh -huh. I moved to another village at an early age and became a hunter there, so that's why you wouldn't necessarily yep. know me. I'm currently out of commission though. I got hurt pretty bad on a hunt and I've been recovering ever since. Whether I'll be able to hunt again is up to fate now. I might have to consider other options. Yeah. Well, damn. So you're just hanging out here looking out? Probably the prettiest NPC. Like it's just one of the character models that you can make. I think it's like one of the defaults, but still, but still prettiest so far. Everyone in chat, I need your arguments to start. I need you to get very, very intense over this. Hinoa or Minoto? <laughs> Who's your waifu? Hinoa or Minoto? Hey, listen. Not black place to reconsider life. I mean, just yeah, hanging out here looks like it'd be a fun time. Fugen, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Someone's got taste and those tastes are dad bods. <laughs> this is fine as well. Alright, we can ride a Palamute. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Gotta explore the town. Alright, so we've got our boatyard down here. Hello. We have a little hut here. Because I can't do much stuff around town right now, but yeah. 
Not right, not just yet. <laughs> both. <laughs> Why well, only have one waifu? If you if you choose both, then you can't get into intense waifu wars with people on the internet. You need to make a decision so you can get very very angry at the people who don't make your decision. This is this, this is how this is how life works. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rudine, don't know who that is. Unless you've been Rodan from the other game, Bayonetta. I'm okay with that. Yo, I can do the item box now. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright, appearance settings. Can I just change my character whenever I want? Do I have to pay money for it? Fuck yeah. That may not be what that means at all. Alright, items. Item loadouts. Yes, there's item loadouts. Thank god. Um, okay, change equipment. Change equipment. Sword and shield. Yo! The traitor. Oh, okay. Yeah, no character. I've, I don't really remember what she looks like, but I, I remember... Like saying that one of the things. She's the one in the green, I think. I don't quite remember her. God, my webcam is really fucking up. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Yo, look at this. When I go to equipment to change, it's not just all of my weapons mixed together and it's hard to find which one's which. I go into my weapon to choose which weapon and then it lets me just choose which one and then shows me which ones I have for that. Hell yeah. God, even the menu navigation's better than world. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck in there. Hell yes. Hell yes. Anyway, we're back to Sword and Shield. Talk to Hino with the Quest Maiden. Hello. Oh, this music in town is so good. Ashfire, already completed your hunter registration? Great. I retrieved your Kahoot from Elder Fugan earlier. It's so cute, you're gonna love it. Kahoots like buddies will help you out during quests, but in their own little way. Uh, all, all of this, uh, also, this is for anyone who wants to see, um, more Baby Tetsukabu, but not in Rise. I will, I will, um, have to try and remember to look at, look at that at some point. This means I might not have to organize my box that much this time. I know. When I started getting into the end of Iceborne is when I really started getting into a lot of different weapons. And trying to find which one I wanted to use was a nightmare every time. <laughs> Where this, I can just be like, I feel like Hunting Horn today. Look at my Hunting Horns. And then I can just go from there. Kahoot's like buddies love you during quest, but in their own little way. The Kahoot is so adorable, and if this replaces the Boogie full stop, then I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> Kahoot's a creature that are beloved throughout Kimura. The village elder gave you a Kahoot to look after as a pet. If you call your Kahoot from the action bar, it will come and perch on your arm. Aww. If a symbol pops up while you have a Kahoot on your arm, push it and have your Kahoot take flight. Maybe something will happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> No, this feature is unavailable in Monster Player. Aww. <laughs> Pet menu can be opened up like a hood is perched on your arm. They, um, there you can swap out outfits and feed your feathered friends. Aww. If you feed your Kahoot, they will greet you once they return from your quest. The Kahoot won't come greet you in multiplayer. So I can't, you can't pet the Kahoot in multiplayer. Okay. Yo! Ow, buddy! Ow, buddy! I hadn't even thought of what to call the owl. I haven't, I didn't even think about this ahead of time. Fuck, I've never had a pet owl. I can't, <laughs> I can't name my pet owl after an a, a owl that I've had in real life because I've never owned an owl in real life. Melfestio Jr. <laughs> That's pretty strong, actually. That is pretty strong. That is pretty strong. So I think I could name the Kahoot after my most recent bird that I had, which is Angel. So I haven't decided fully on what to use, but Hunting Horn does interest me the most. I don't, I'm going to try and bounce across weapons as much as I can and just like, my main will be Sword and Shield still, but I think I'm just gonna bounce between weapons as much as I can. Like I kinda am of the, uh, the mindset of I kinda don't wanna use the same weapon two hunts in a row at this point if I can make that many sets and everything because so many of the weapons in this game just seem like the best they've ever been and some of them like way 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 better than I than in world I'm gonna call my Kahoot after my most recent bird which was a very long time ago it was over a decade ago don't even necessarily think that my bird passed away just my bird lived with my dad who then I moved out of the way from um moved away from my dad uh what's the letter cap for the names I think 15 I think 15 I think 15 is the limit. Since my sister is home at the moment, I'll go ahead and give you the quest rundown instead. Now, dear hunter, you'll be uh, in charge of completing the quest for me and Minato having our quest mm. list. Some of these quests, called key, key quests, have been specifically posted by the Hunter's Guild. So you make a point in completing key quests, the Hunter's Guild will take uh -huh. note. One last thing. 
take this petal ace Minoto and I made. As you may be aware, petal ace is a protection charm woven from a local plant called Ascending Sprig. Pollen carried by Spiri Birds will enhance your petal ace, strengthening your abilities. Trade it with care. I'm still curious if we can make like really powerful petal aces late in late late game. Um, so collecting one or two Spiri Birds will like max out what we can get for that petal ace. So I'm just gonna collect ten of them. That should be uh, looking after some of the longer puns, <laughs> bad puns I was thinking of. Oh my god. Mikey, how do you have perfect fucking emotes for everything? How do you have perfect emotes for everything, Mikey? God damn, your emote game is unrivaled. <laughs> you can switch out your pedal ace and the uh, manage equipment. Different types, see which one works. See, it's very best. Maximize their effects. Huh. I think Minato should be wrapping up her report about now. I need to get back to work myself. Once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Well, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to do. You know, was first. It's a single player stuff, so I'm gonna finish the single player stuff before I do the multiplayer stuff. Meowlo, and congrats on becoming a hunter. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I, Senri the Mailman, have quite the important info for you. You'll need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters. Make sure to stop by. Well, I think that about wraps everything up. Time to start monster hunting. I swear the thing on the box that you have there looks very similar to um, the dude who gives the cat who gives you special permits in GU. <laughs> Yo, there we go. Got all of my deluxe edition stuff. There we go. You get a demo player bonus pack? Nice. <laughs> nice. K Kamurai Hunter Laid I'm a fuck yeah. The hell yeah, let's go. So let, let's go to uh, equipment for a second. So there's my pedal ace. Hell yeah. Yeah, see how it says like health up total and health gains total? I'm wondering if there's gonna be later ones where it's like health up 50, health gain 10, or something like that, so you can get way more, so you don't have to get as many of the birds. I'm kinda hoping that's where it goes, but there's no, but we don't, we, like, I don't know that yet. But I'm kinda hoping that's where that goes. Where do I do. How do I put on my, um, talisman? I don't know if I'm meant to use talismans yet, so the game may not let me use them right now. Yeah, we have a lot of outfits we can, um, a lot of uh, loadouts that we can do. Hmm. Well, I'm not even seeing the talisman in here. That means I'm not seeing the petal ace in here either, so. That's not gonna show everything, is it? No, no it wouldn't be in there. Hmm. Uh, I guess Talisman Swords unlocked later, wasn't it? So in MH World Two, that is the case. But the novice talismans meant to be a thing that helps you before you get talismans. The way they were talking about it. So, I was thinking you could put it on straight away. But maybe you unlock it, then you use the novice one for a while, and then you don't really get the others until way later on. It might be that. Because the novice one's meant to be, you use that one before you get others. But maybe you have to like do a couple things before you even unlock the slot for it. Ready to get into some quests? You have great time because a quest just came in for you. Master at Sushi is good for you. Looks like some basic training. He's so pumped about being a real instructor. He keeps going on being ready to thrash. Seems that Lavuka may have a hand in it as well. Although I told you you want to keep that part a secret. I bet they've been racking their brains to think of a way to help your hunting career. How sweet. But it's usually the quest of the list. Uh, except that whenever you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? When you are, just head through the quest gate to begin. Let's dive into the quest list. Make sure to check the special right. quest as well. Ooh, a special quest. All right, so talk to one of them. Use um um join quest. Use a quest board. Accepted. Uh, press R to cancel it. Okay. Um, when you're in there, you can accept it during that. Assemble in uh village and local. Press ZR um or A to quest gate to leave. All right, easy enough. Subquests, what are these? Side quests available from both calendars can be completed any number of times. You may accept five at once. Oh, this is bounties. Yeah, gathering on everything like that. Yo, did they fucking make bounties just at the quest board? Mm. I don't have to walk around as much now. <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah, armor spheres, Kimura points. Yep, that's what this is. Fuck yes. It is now just here. <laughs> Hell yeah. 
hell yeah. Click questions, try and win ones. That's just an easy definite to choose that one. Uh, honey is good. Deliver transport items. No, thank you. Gathering ore is good. Acquire four perma buffers. I guess they're spirit birds. We'll probably do that quite quickly. Two large monsters. Eight, slay eight small monsters. Right on three monsters. We'll probably slay these first. You don't have to watch the game anymore. Just press um, a button after accepting a quest. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. The, the bounty shit being available at the quest board makes me so happy. That makes me so good. Yo, there's a talk option just here as well. You don't just have dialogue with them for just starting talking to them. You can actually just talk with them. Fuck yeah. Let's get started with the basic training. I wonder what he has in store for you. Just don't get judged again. Make sure you're fully prepared. All right. Urgent quest. Here's the quest list. God, even this menu looks fucking gorgeous. Okay, that, that tells you all the details of it. Okay. It doesn't show it all at once, but there is the details. Okay, complete the complete the tasks. Go to Shrine Ruins. There's the money. There's the summary of the words, conditions. Oh, locale info. So, you, like, if there's upsurges and stuff, there's also that there. Uh, hunt is never too good to go over the basics, so that's why I've got a quest for you to revisit all the hunting, hunting fundamentals. I'm wondering if this Don't is just going to be the same as the demo. <laughs> it might just be the same one as the demo. Depart's already o open. It's literally... Choose the quest, depart immediately. Holy fuck. Hashtag game changer. Yo. Yo, hello. Sorry, I'm getting getting carried away. Yo, I can just go in this house. Hell yeah. It looks like sitting around that campfire is gonna be important at some point. The the green grocer, we got yep, we got um, people there. Rice artist, giant fishmonger. Something bouncing around in a pot there. A, a senior hunter. Don't know what this building is, but all right. <laughs> oh, I worry about that now. Very important. Oh yeah, you want me? To, you wanted to talk about the longest player stuff. I'll talk to you because you've got a thing over here. <laughs> um, meow yeah, there, Ashfire. We might know you got some in, um um info that's vital. No, crucial. No, paramount. <laughs> Well, you're just about to hit up the gathering up so you can get a hunting party together? About that. I've got some bad news for you. You see, when the rampage is near, it's forbidden for hunters to leave Kimura. And outside hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kimura is offline. But if you want to form a party, I have a special type of message um, I can send to get hunters to hightail it here. If I send the message, Kimura will be online and hunters will be able to enter. Just don't ask me how it works. I've got to understand it myself. Something to do with spider webs? <laughs> Okay, okay, so you can swap between online and offline here because if you're if you're online people can run around here That's your room. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense Yeah, the fact that you can have everyone that you're like together with just running around the entire place together You're not just like cordoned off to multiplayer in there is really good The fact that we can run around all of Kimura village together as a, as a group is very good you can only have four people. There's no max of 16 now. It's just the four again, but that, but it's still really good. The interwebs, hell yeah. <laughs> Better get your tail and gear so you can hunt with all your friends. Oh, you want to talk again? Some new add-on content available for your perusal. All right, two ways to uh, play multiplayer. Make use of a lobby or send out join requests. How the other players join. Lobby, you can use that to engage in that um, and join requests. Yep, connect to the internet. Yep, fair enough. There we go. Lobby where players congregate. Engage multiplayer. Yep. Training areas. The fact that you can do training in multiplayer is so good. They made so many quality of life improvements in this game, which is greatly appreciated. I am shocked at how many quality of life improvements this game has over World, considering World was already a lot of that. I'm very impressed by how much they've able to ch like cram in for that. It's kind of ridiculous. All players can make use of the facilities in the village in the Buddy Plaza. So also training area. Players will be able to visit the... Um, Private room of the lobby host, except um, village quests um, at the quest counter in the lobby, but you won't be able to play these quests with other players. Oh, so you can still do the village stuff if you're all hanging out together, just other people can't join it. Okay, and then you can go there to do that. Four players, talk to Senri, ch choose uh, how to play online. Yep. Uh, you can also join lobbies grab by friends or players you've exchanged uh, likes with from the friend list or the mutual likes list. So if you do mutual likes with people, you can literally just go, oh, they're in multiplayer. I'm just going to go join their um, lobby. That is cool. That's really cool. It works so bloody well. Yeah, I was about to say, I already got it all. I already got it all. 
Oh, I've got to actually go here to receive it. That that would be why. There we go. I've now actually received it. <laughs> I've now actually received um, the downloaded stuff. Maybe now I can put it on. <laughs> Maybe now I can put it on. Right, not going to worry about online just yet, but it's nice to know that it's there. All right. Yo, now we can do talismans. That's where it is. That's where it is. You've got to actually go talk to the cat to do that. Okay. Uh, you can equip talismans with change tal um, change equipment in your item box. Fuck yeah. Lay armor is a function like normal equipment. It allows you to change your looks. Hell yeah. Lay armor can be registered. Um, just as you wouldn't equip slowed out. Fuck yeah. So, here's the cool thing. Is that... One of the layered armor loadouts, like the one that we got, is Kamurai. Which is just like ultra fancy version of the uh, of the Kamura armor. I do quite like the Kamurai stuff. I'm not gonna use it right now, but I do like the Kamurai stuff. It is it is cool. I do I do like it. Alright, um okay, change equipment. Nope. There we go. There we go, there's the talisman. Critical Eye and Wall Runner. Um, 5 8 7 bonus. Oh, uh, okay. So 3 or 4 or 5 pieces is resistances, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. It's not a massive deal, but it'll probably help in early game. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yo, does one crit eye give me 10 fucking infinity? Is that what I'm reading here? Oh, I must already have one. Can I, where's my skill info? There we go. Um... Oh, okay, we got, we got a lot here. Okay. Level 7 level seven is still 40 affinity, like it was before. Okay, awesome. Sick. Um, 25, 50, and... Um, <laughs> wow! Level 3 wall run is actually quite useful. Increases attack power. Depending on the fights, you're running on walls and jumping off walls to attack things. That could actually be good. Alright, here's everything that we've got. We have two levels of Crit Eye, two levels of Wall Runner. Yo, we start with one level of Divine Blessing, and we start with some Heroics, and Wirebug Whisperer. So what's, what is Wirebug Whisperer? Extend to duration you can keep a Wirebug by 30%. Ooh. Increases Wirefall Recovery Rate. Ooh. And increases Passive Recovery Rate while on the ground. Damn. Depending on things, that might be really good. Depending on things, that might be really good to, like, focus on. I feel like skills are going to be something that are going to be very fun to fuck around with some of the stuff we can do in this game. I should eat before a quest. Also, I want to see how this system works. <laughs> Motley Mix? Motley Mix? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, get material- yeah, getting your rations and stuff. Maybe Motley Mix will earn, um, will earn you Dango tickets. That's why it's useful doing this. Okay. Because I never did the- I never had the handler, like, to the oven roast stuff in Worlds. Doing it in this one, you get Dango tickets, which I imagine is guaranteed skills. Yep. Yeah, causes all your skill, um, Dango skill activation chances to increase. There we go. I don't know it says to increase. It doesn't say guarantee. Interesting. Gestures. Yo, we can do gestures at the table. Play with the bamboo toy. Oh my god, I love these things when I was a kid. Whee! <laughs> Have fun. Oh, we're laughing it up together. Hell yeah. We can just clap. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh there we go. Yeah. Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's enough of the gestures. All right. Let's actually see how this system works in this game. All right. Order Bunny Dango at the tea shop to gain health and stamina and even activate Dango skills if you're lucky. Dango effects will wear off once you complete a quest or return to Kimura. You can eat while in the tent as well. Do they stay active after you card? Because that says complete a quest or return to Kimura. It doesn't say card. If they stay active when you cart, that's wild. Uh, which Dango skill is activated as well as its probability for acting d differs for each Dango. Uh, you can aim for particular effects by making use of the daily Dango, which changes within each quest. Okay, so we still have dailies. Meals including a daily Dango cannot um, not be eaten during a quest. Okay. Daily special, the Kimura. Okay, so before I can even eat anything, it's telling my, me my health and stamina effects are 20 and 20. 
So that might just be a guaranteed thing that it's always going to be that. What about anything? Yo, I can do, you can just set them. Hell yeah. You can do that in world as well, but this you'll get. Holy fuck, we've got 32 options for the usuals in this game. You have six in world. Fuck. Alright. Oh, so it's literally j so powerful flavor. Powerful flavors, determined flavors, unusual flavors, and grandiose flavors. Oh, so it's literally just whatever three skills you want of literally any fucking type. Just choose three dangos for that. Wow. Wow. That is both less complicated and more powerful than worlds. Because in worlds, you need, like, if you want to get one of the powerful skills on one of the types, you need all six ingredients to be of that type. And you don't get the previous ones, you only get that one. So, if you, like, if you wanted insurance or a uh, safeguard, I guess it was because that was the, the non daily one. You would only get that. You needed all six to get it. Like, all six of your ingredients needed to be of the one type. And you'd get the insurance. But you wouldn't get any of the things that you got for two or four of that. And you could only get insurance. This is just any three fucking skills that you want. Go for it. Wow. That is powerful and less complicated. You unlock a Dango, you just get a new skill to get. So, the Kimura... Increase the number of Kimura points you receive at the end of a quest. Well, I'll definitely take that for the time being. Increases damage dealt by Kunai. Uh, weapons reflect sharp, uh, retain sharpness. Decreases damage taken. Prevents you getting nothing on your butt. Speed up sharpening. Slightly increase um, health recovery from items. Increase the number of honey, um, honey gathered. Well, we're only in training, so I'll do that one for the time being. Beautiful Dango is pretty good for early game. Yeah, just getting extra um, honey whenever you get it. That's really good. I also like how the description. Simmered in medicinal broth. They've got a bit of a bit of mature taste. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Crazy damage by Kun uh Get that one. Yo, and on just on ordering, you can just register it to a set if you want. Fuck yeah. Okay. Food system is powerful in this game and less complicated and kind of cute because of the pictures. <laughs> Alright, what's the animation? <laughs> I wasn't ready for a song! <laughs> Game of the year! Game of the generation! Game of the forever! <laughs> get my dango on, get the gr drink the green tea. Yo, I got gather and medic. Damn it. Damn it. I didn't get the Kimura point one. I'm drinking green tea. It's green apple cider. It's basically the same thing. Yo, and it shows you next to the part if you've already eaten. So you don't have to go into the menu to go, wait, did I eat? It'll literally just show you next to the part. Yo, you've already eaten. Okay. Dango system is more powerful, less complicated, easier to tell whether you've eaten, and it comes with a fucking song. <laughs> wow, this is the best food system they've ever done. <laughs> that, ju just the having the song there for the Dango, that is the best food animation they've ever done. And there are some fantastic Miascula Chef ones. Honestly, I think the most disappointing thing about the Miascular Chef is outside of the fact that you can't see the Miascular Chef once you're in Celiana and there's no reason to go back, is that like you unlock new ones for the Miascular Chef and he does different things every time. And some of the early ones are really good, but once you unlock the later ones, you can never see the, those earlier animations again. Like you can't see the chicken one anymore because it just comes down, down to, to the giant steak. So I, I do think they should have been randomized which one it done. But um, that's amazing. The fact that it has a song, top fucking tier. Where is the departure gate? Literally this entire section is the quest gate. Got it. <laughs> Only behind Grand Meowster for me. I like the Grand Meowster one, but I kind of prefer like the Meowster Chef ones because they're so over the top. 
But the Gramiasta one is pretty good. So the, the thing that the Gramiasta has, um, the Celiana hub has, is not in the animation when you order the food. I mean, the, the jiggle of the steak is pretty good. That's the best part about it, is the jiggly meat. But seeing all of the other Palicos preparing the food is top tier in that. Sanctuary abandoned by the gods. Shrine ruins. Jesus. These halls of worship. Oh my god, we even get voice dialogue like introducing the locales. Jesus. Now home to monsters. Stalking and rustling. And they rhyme. <laughs> Hunters beware. Not wait, but despair. Despair. Let's go! Hey, hero. But, um, yo, suppers here. But yeah, the jiggling meat thing is really good for the Grandmaster. The thing for the Grandmaster for me that makes it so good is not in the eating animation, but if you just sit in the canteen, the amount of details that happen around you is ridiculous. Like, the Miascular Chef has, like, someone mixing the pot and they sometimes, like, almost fall in or anything like that. But with that, like, you've got one person who will, like, go into the back, literally come out with a bowl... Put it down, mix in flour, shake it up, pour it into the next bowl, mix in milk and everything like that. And like mix it all up and then grab it and then take it out the back and then come back. And then you've got the one like cat, like Palico, who's grinding up all the spices and everything. And then sometimes goes to sniff it and then sneezes. And there's a photo for like catching the cat as it sneezes and the spices fly everywhere. That stuff is really good for Grammy stuff. I really like that. Haha, -ha, you're here! Accepted my quest, huh? <laughs> nice. Come over here and we'll get started. Oh. Yo, Ace, over here. I feel like this is just going to be the same intro quest. Yo, our map's completely blocked off because we haven't even been into it yet. Haha, <laughs> ha -ha, you're here. A whole new life awaits. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. You're ready to thrash. <laughs> That's what he was saying like to Hanoa before. Let's do a little quick um, quest refresher. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let's start with our camp here. This is your tent. Here you can change your equipment and weapons or organize your what? items. If you want to bail in your car and load out, you feel free to switch out your gear inside. <laughs> that over there is the supply box, full of useful items that will aid you during your quest. And it, everything there is provided by the guild, right. so free to use whatever you want. And that's it for the camp. I'll meet you down by the river. If you get lost, just look past. Uh, look for the icon on your map. Easy enough. Yep, change stuff for the tent. Um, do all of that. You can access the buddy board there, so you can also change um, your... Palicons and Palicons, it's mid-quest. Cool. Awesome. Um, view the map. Triangles show that. Cam um, cams, monsters, buddies, traps, all the stuff's d done there. L is zoom in, which is weird because it's also a radio menu and change things. Um, I do wish I could change the action bar and the item bar between like L and R or D-pad, but I'm just used to worlds. Once I set up radial menus, we'll be fine because I'm just going to use the radial menu for every item that isn't potions, basically. Uh, press L to zoom in, um, gather things. This can be reconfigured with the game settings within options. You can view the detailed map from the start menu. The detailed map displays the precise location of endemic life and gathering points and allows you to show or hide items based on category. Yeah, that system's very fucking powerful in this game. I remember playing around in the demo and how much you can change stuff that's shown on the map to find where the things that you want is very powerful. He went straight into the pole doing that. He went straight into the fucking pole doing that. Oops. Uh, yep, you can do that. Can't supply, um, take supply uh, items out to the village. Well, I'll, uh, I'll at least take these. Just so I have some rations. Anyway. Whee! And... Damn it. <laughs> I was about to grab stuff. Okay. Crafting's delicate. Art of fusing things. You can do that. Use autocrafts or magically combine things. Uh, you can um, set up autocraft. Yep. Bam. Now we're in the full game, I actually kind of need to remember. Grab everything that's around me for at least the first until I beat high rank. Yeah! <laughs> it's so fucking far that it sends you. I love it. No reason for it to send you as far as it does, but it does. Aha, you. you're here! Alright, let's talk wire bugs. Uh-huh. Yeah, th yeah, it's literally the same thing. He's on top of the boulder, get on top of the boulder. Yeah, this is this is all this is all demo stuff. Yeah, it's literally all demo stuff. <laughs> Literally all demo stuff, so I'm just gonna shoot up. There we go. Yep, wall running. I know how to wall run. There we go. Haha, <laughs> hey, you're here. You're a natural. <laughs> Next, let's talk, buddies. You brought your palico on Palamute. Flash and rumble. Uh -huh. Oh, he's mine. <laughs> They're blending a pole for this part of the training. First try mounting rumble, yeah. my Palamute. Palamute's as swift as the wind. So if once he gives you the slip, hop onto a barking buddy. I'll be waiting for you to meet um up the trail. Meet me there. I do wonder, with the riding dogs, and how easy is it to do it mid-combat, 
how powerful is using riding the dog mid combat going to be for dodging certain attacks and how fucking easy is it going to be to sharpen mid combat you hop on your dog and you can sharpen while moving now <laughs> sharpening mid combat is actually reasonable to do now and that makes me excited <laughs> That makes me very excited. Listen up. Switch this over to let me ride. There we go. Ready? Wait, let's grab, let's grab the wire bug. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. I don't know the lyrics properly. <laughs> uh, dog drifting. Trap bugs. Hell yeah. We've got to gather everything. We've got to remember... We we're, we're in the full game. Gathering items matters now. Matters so much now. Wow, I've already used a lot of my stamina. <laughs> Yo, what are you? A flash bug? Hell yeah. What are you, latch berries? Fuck yeah. What are you, dung? Fuck yeah. What are you, herbs? Fuck yeah. Give me everything. Yellow spirit bird. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, you're here. Check out this yellow spirit bird. If you touch one, its palm will enhance that good luck charm you're wearing. Your petal mm. ace. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds your petal ace and boosts your mm -hmm. stats. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Similarly, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. The effect is only active during the current quest, but you can be sure shurikens they are worth using. <sighs> and that's a cloth fly over there. <laughs> One of the many creatures you'll come across in the, the fields. Right. The power that can sure boost thing. defense. And there's so much endemic life, and it's really cool, this system. I really like the endemic life system in this game. <laughs> I was someone who was already really into the endemic about. life and world, and then this is just like, oh, by the way, they actually like matter a lot. What's this? I do wonder, because like part of what I enjoyed about worlds was going out and finding the rare endemic life. Alright, twisted mains, monster bone S, this bunch of that stuff. Okay, once we get everything, we're not going to get the descriptions for everything we gather. It's going to make seeing what we gather way easier. For the first time, we do it for everything. It's just going to be, here's a million things popping on the screen at once, because you gather everything Attention, at once. Please. Just go look at, look at your map. There we go. Hello. Haha, -ha, you're here. Got the hang of running palamutes already? Mm. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a uh, lot of ground. Uh, you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. <laughs> so when you're ready to get down to business, best to dismount. Uh. Looks like we've got ourselves some monsters nearby. How about, um, how are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out in the field. When you're ready, let's head up this way. Time to really get this show on the road. Yeah, he health bar. Stamina bar. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that stuff, I know how it works. Low battery? Seriously? I took it off charge, like, just before this. What the fuck? I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. I'll plug it in if I need to. If it dies in the middle of this stream, I'll plug it in. <laughs> grab some herbs. Gotta grab that herb. Ooh! Ooh. Secret tunnel. I'm gonna jump off you for a second. How do I dismount? How do I dismount? There we go. <laughs> there we go. What are these things? <laughs> All right, there we go. Restore some stamina and can be um, picked up and can be stored. Are they Kimura points? Because if like just running through Let's this gets this. you all of these Kimura points, like research points, that's very useful. But I don't know if that's exactly what that is. If that's what that is. It's very, very powerful. But I'll grab those now because I can. Does it show us anywhere in the menus what it is? So, yeah, no, it is, it is, it is the points, because you can see the blue circle up there still says a thousand. So, they are bugs that just, like, will also just happen to give you that extra, um, boost. Let's do this! Um, of points. They're account items, basically, but it's bugs. What's up? Good to see you. Nolly, a pack of Azuchi, sorry. Aha, you're here! A pack of Azuchi. Alright, there's three of them. Go take them out for me. Don't hold back just because they're small now. They what? can be ruthless. Remember your training and you'll be golden. I'll be fine. I'll be so fine. Dragon Strike Knight. <laughs> so you gotta make sure you grab everything, you know? More important. Sup! But I remember how this spinning reaper stuff works. <laughs> Excellent! You're great. That's my ace. There we go. So how do you how was the how the how the combo go? Well don't don't kill it for me. <laughs> Or I can do that. <laughs> Yo, my favorite pupil. <laughs> Sweet, awesome job there, Ace. Don't forget to carve the mo material from the monsters. They can be useful for upgrades at the smithy. When you're done carving, come see me. Okay. Okay. Oh, I will Here carve. Here comes the messy part. <laughs> Here comes the messy part. Damn. Nothing personal, buddy. 
I say as I cut into its throat. <laughs> Nothing personal about me tearing your throat open and carving out your innards. Here comes the messy part. <laughs> Get out my weapon. I want to see how, like... That feels really easy. That feels really easy to do in this. That feels really easy to roll into that. That feels, like, absurdly easy to actually do if you need it to. Although I'm struggling to get the perfect rush on it now. <laughs> I am struggling to get the perfect rush on it, so there is that. God damn it! What's the timing on it? I forget. Here it comes. There it is. Good job. <laughs> there we go. Can I have to get used to perfect rush? Because I've been playing more GU than World lately. I'm not not as used to the perfect rush. So I gotta get if it isn't to it. Brightest flame. Just as I expected from my star pupil. An incredible hunt. If there's something you um, didn't go down better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting mm. started. Let's head back to camp. We're kind of far away from it. Just use fast travel and you'll be back in no time. But what if I didn't fast travel? And I collected some of these things. Like, I get two more of those and I get the thing. So I'm just going to quickly... Don't mind me. Damn it. <laughs> no, you still got it. Hell, hell yeah. All right. I thought I saw another one. I did. There we go. Bam. Done. <laughs> Subquest completed. We mine this. Gathering ore. Okay, so gathering, that counts as one ore deposit when you get multiple huh? of them. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Ready? And... Huh. Whee! 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 Oh, <laughs> uh, bug is so fun. It's so fun. Let's do the fast travel thing. How do I open up the map? I forget. Detailed map. There it is. Fast travel. There we go. <laughs> it's start then Y for the detailed map. There's no middle touchpad to just open the map instantly in this. What's up? Haha, -ha, you're here. You've completed this basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you out into the field as a full-fledged hunter. You've learned well. But keep in mind, Elder Fugan and I expect much from you. If you ever feel like going over basic training, all you need to do is set this quest from Hinoa. I'd be happy to guide you through it again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Quest completed. Alright, there's Felveen there. We gotta do our dance. Uh, no. No, our dance. There we go. Yeah! Our quest complete dance. Woo! Woo! Good job, buddy. <laughs> Pat the dog, fizz from the cat. Hell yeah. Like, even that, where it's just like the nice flash with the nice painting there. Alright, meat, meat, ration, raw meat. Nice palico gathered stuff. There we go. Oh, that is one thing that. Uh, there we go, yeah. Kimura points you get from that. Because it's been added Kimura amulet. Ooh. That is one thing I forgot to mention. When I made my cat. When you make your cat at the beginning, like GU, you can choose from multiple types of cat in this. Um, but there's healing, there's combat, um, gathering is one. There's a couple different ones. I went for combat, but I'm wondering if I can change that later. Like, just depending on the situation. But yeah, you can choose from multiple different types of palicos. Like, whether they go full support, they try to go more offensive, they throw bombs at stuff, gathering. There were some other ones, but I don't quite remember what they were off the top of my head. I think one was healing, one was support, but I'm not sure. Thank you.